Hello. it's me Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Chris is here <laughs> and Luna as always. <laughs> Today guys we are going to be doing a little pre-Disney Q&A video for you. So I've got a couple of questions from last time that we never actually got around to doing a Q&A video for you. Um, so a couple from then that I think still might be relevant and then some new ones I've collected over on my YouTube and Instagram. And then I think we'll probably end up doing another Q&A after we've been to Disney. So if you've got any questions as we go, um, drop them in comments as we do the vlogs because um, we will be vlogging every day. So also make sure you hit that subscribe button because like I said, there's vlogs coming. Um, about there at this point, is it? It can be, yeah. Oh, down there. The, 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 Just somewhere down there. Yeah, there. Actually, that would be video <laughs> rather than not um, video. Okay, so I'm just going to dive in. We're going to answer some questions. Um, Chris, I'm going to drink a coffee, don't mind me. Yeah, Chris uh, isn't prepped, no. so I might need to remind him of his opinions. <laughs> about lots of things because I'm a bit pants. Okay, so just um, some of the questions from last time that, like I say, I think would be relevant. So, first question is where did we stay? Uh, we stayed in an Airbnb last time. We stayed in several locations. Yes, the main lo <laughs> the main holiday part. We stayed in an Airbnb in Lucia Lucia Village Resort. Um, and if Lucaya you saw our, in Kissimmee. Yes. yes. And if you saw our videos, obviously you'll know we had a bit of a carry on with that one. It's a place I because I went a year beforehand to do some work with a friend, and we stayed in the same complex, a Lucaya Holiday Village mm. or whatever it's called. Um, to to and <laughs> the accommodation was perfect. Kind of did what we wanted. You know, nothing too fancy. Didn't have its own pool or something, but it had plenty of bedrooms, nice living area, nice kitchen area. Um, yeah, ticked all the boxes. Did what we, what we wanted it to do. Um, so I suggested going back to the same place. Now it was the same complex, but it was a different apartment, and I think it was came through a different provider, different point of contact. Anyway, we had some issues, and our point of contact was just a bit arsy, really. A bad attitude. Bad, yeah, his attitude um, stunk. But yeah, if you saw obviously the vlogs last time, you'll see we had well, here we had issues getting in. Yeah. They gave us the wrong code, and we were stood outside in the dark, you know, late at night after a long flight. Yeah. Um, the ceiling was leaking. It took days and days to get that sorted. That chunks of the ceiling were on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and there was a leak. It, it, was, it was really bad condition, obviously. If I've got the footage still, I'll insert it. Yeah. Um, we found, like, roaches and things. Um, and they just generally weren't very helpful. No. Now, we did stay in some Airbnbs towards the end of the holiday where we accidentally got stuck in Florida. <laughs> um, and the, the last one we stayed in was amazing. Yeah, if we'd, was lovely. Yeah, if we'd have been in that the whole time, it'd have been amazing. Yeah. Anyway, let's not blab on too much about that, because that's long no, So Airbnb for last trip, we yeah. stayed in Airbnbs. Yes. Yes. Okay, the next question from last time. Um, what was your favorite park? Um, now I can answer this quite easily. And it actually follows on with a question actually I've got from this time round. So it was, what are your favorite parks? And do you think they'll stay the same? So my favourite Disneyland park, because Disney again, World. Disney World, sorry, Disney World, um, would be Hollywood Studios, okay. mainly because of the Star Wars stuff, and as you can see, I kind of quite like my Star Wars. Um, so yes, that would be. Yeah, that's my favourite Disney World park. Okay. Universal Islands of Adventure. If I had to pick between the two. I'd probably go Islands of Adventure only because I like the rides there a bit better. Okay. Yeah, and the rides are a big part. I know kind of obviously there's many aspects to a, a, a holiday, a theme park holiday, food, attractions, like other things that aren't like rides, um, but I'm all about the rides really and the big thrill rides and Islands of Adventure just has the edge okay. for me. You? Um, Animal Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> easy um animal kingdom obviously the animals amazing i love i'm a big lover of animals and i could have stayed that, that gorilla falls trail all day um i think that jeff definitely was like the highlight of my trip last time and um, the whole atmosphere of animal kingdom i found just really good so it was good yeah. yeah it's nice to walk around it, yeah. yeah for like kind of the animals and yeah. the theming like saying there's there music amazing. yeah the theming everywhere you go it's just it's incredible um the snacks they have some great snacks in animal kingdom um rides some really good rides. Um, yeah, Everest is a good. That's probably my so, favourite Disney. Well, we're getting on the rides. Oh, yeah, sorry, so sorry. Jump, jump jumping in the ahead. Gun. Sorry. Um, yeah. So yeah, Animal Kingdom, and then the I suppose the follow-on question from this round of questions is: Do you think that your favourite park will stay the same? I will say yes. I don't think 
anybody will beat Animal Kingdom for me. Yeah, and no, I'm probably the same. Yeah, I think Disney, I think, yeah, um, but Hollywood Studio and Islands of Adventure. You'll come back and ask us after this trip? Yeah. Who knows? Um, who knows? Because I went and I think some of my parks were a little bit different. I would probably rank them until I thought that they might have been when I went. So who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Um, so question six, I guess, probably easy answer for you. Disney. Six, you no, think? sorry. It was <laughs> question six on there a lot from last time, but there was a lot of questions for yeah, Johnny's answer. Sorry. So um, Disney or Universal? Well, like I kind of said in the last question, I'll answer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Universal, probably, again, because of the rides and the rides are a big thing. Yeah, and I can understand. Um, Universal's definitely got more of the thrill rides. Yeah. Um, I think I'll go Disney, though. Because yeah, I just good. really like the theming, um, the whole atmosphere of being in Disney is a whole different thing, really, I suppose. And it's a little bit magical, and obviously I'm a big Disney fan. So that's what I said, I like Universal. There was a lot of plus points for Universal. No, and same with Disney, you know, okay, I'm yeah. also a big Disney fan, and yeah. Disney was great. It's just, yes, if I, had to, if I only had one day to go back to any of the theme parks, I'd go, I think, Islands of Adventure. Animal Kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, now you can answer this one. Favourite yeah. ride? Now, funnily enough, the one that surprised me the most... I mean, obviously, there's... I was going to talk about new rides, but that's other thing. That's for another question later okay. on. Um, strangely enough, what is it? Mission to Mars? No. No. Uh, Mission Earth, is it? I don't know, because I thought... Mission Space. Mission Space. There you go. <laughs> you go. I know, it obviously made such a good impression. Can't remember, <laughs> it just... Well, at Disney, that one okay. really surprised me. Um, I really loved it. It was a ride that I instantly was like, right, I've got to go back on that ride yeah. again at some point, which I don't well, think I actually managed. No, we didn't. We'll do it again this time. It, I'll do it again this I'll, time. I'll do it, I'll do it. It made me feel a bit sick. Okay. It's a very spinny, kind of crazy ride. It's like, um, it's like, but it's like, you do feel like you're going into space. Yeah, <laughs> so I can imagine why Chris would like that. Yeah. Uh, that one, and then at Universal, Velocicoaster. Velocicoaster was amazing. I mean, we were quite fortunate. We managed to do that about four or five times, I think. I think more than that, to yeah. be fair. Um, yeah, Velocicoaster was really good. Um, yeah. I imagine, for me, and I appreciate it, that's probably the best ride where we went. Yeah. But it wasn't necessarily my favourite, if you know what I mean. That's definitely the most thrill ride. Yes. Um, I think at Universal, my favourite was the Hulk. I liked that. Yeah, Hulk um, is very good as well. That was kind of looked like <laughs> just when you think you couldn't, it couldn't go upside down or any further or whatever. It just kept going, um, and it was really fun. Okay. I liked that one. But my favourite of all the rides, um, Expedition Everest. No, it's a small world. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, Expedition Everest uh, really made me giggle, and I've enjoyed it just as much every time. We've done front, back, middle. We did all of it. We did that quite a lot of times. Yeah. Um, and then the queue's never too big no, and it's quite interactive. Because yeah. I think um, Pandora's still obviously relatively new and fresh. Yes. I think a lot of people go over there and queue for those rides. Yeah. So, I mean, it does, it, it peaks at some points, but generally speaking. Yeah, it's not when, well, well, when we were there anyway, it's yeah. not too bad. And I think in general, it's not super duper busy. Yeah. Um, and it goes quite quick. So yeah, that's definitely Your favorite. my favorite. Okay. Okay, next, um, probably on to the more difficult questions. Um, favourite restaurant? Now, we didn't really go to many Disney restaurants last time. I think no. the only one we actually really did that was a proper sit-down restaurant was Beat Garden. Beat Garden, yeah. And that was because we wanted to do the... Candlelight procession. Yes, and it was kind of the whole thing where you, where you do the buffet and then you get kind of seats included for the yeah. uh, candlelight procession. We've got something similar this time. Um, so that was the only one we really did. Um, there were some amazing quick services. We did Mythos. Oh, that's at Universal Avenue yeah, in Disney. Universal. Yeah, we did do Mythos, um, which is like the best theme park restaurant in the whole world. I mean, yes, the <laughs> theming again inside it and the look of the place is phenomenal. Yes, food, beautiful. Food was, yeah, food was fine. Um, my, starter, food. No, my starter was amazing um, when I went there. It was the spinach and cheese dip or something. Hmm. Spanish cup dip. dip. Um, and the, the little pita... Dipping breads to go with that were amazing, so good. Um, but then my main was very eh, to, I be, honest. Why, to I, be honest. I had a pad thai um, with tofu, and the tofu just wasn't very. I've had better tofu. Yeah, I say um, I can't remember what I had. I just remember it not being well. Blow you away. It didn't blow me away. Yeah. I can't remember what it was, but I also don't remember. So, but that was, that was horrible. yeah. But the theming of the restaurant amazing. Yeah. But food wise, um, I think we both probably agree we would go. 
out of Disney, out of Universal altogether for our yeah. favourite. Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. Just, it, there's so much to choose from. And I from. think we were and obviously a group of five with so many different tastes yes. and likes and stuff. Obviously I'm vegetarian, you've got your mum and your sister are very fussy, don't like certain spices and this yeah, and that. Very, yeah, very, um, me and my dad are more kind of yeah. anything. But, but Every one of us found something each time we went and yeah, we enjoyed went it. Yeah, went a few times, didn't we? Yeah, went yeah. a few times. We did like brunch, we did lots of stuff. <laughs> so we we're definitely planning on going back there. Yeah, mentionable um, note for breakfast. Okay. Hash House of Go Go. Yes, Hash House of Go Go was great. I was just going to say, I can't believe you didn't go straight in for it, but burgers. <sighs> I mean, I Shake Shack. <laughs> um, yeah, I always try yeah. and make a point of fact of going to a Shake Shack when I'm in America. I do, really like nice. my, I do like my burgers and Shake Shack's kind and, um, of the veggie right up there for me. The burger was like a mushroom stuff with cheese, it was amazing. Um, but yeah, no, we went to quite a good few places food. Obviously if you've seen our vlogs, if not I'll link them below. Um, yeah. Quite a lot of good places. I think possibly the one that surprised me the most that I really enjoyed was the NBC Grill and Brews place. Okay, they did yeah. some really, really nice food. And yes. I think sometimes it gets very hit and miss. Which is City Walk reviews. Universal. Yes, City Walk yeah. Universal. Um, and it was just really nice. I think it was my favourite like spinach cheesy dip thing that I had. It was yeah. better than Cheesecake Factory and it was better than Mythos and wherever else we tried it. Um, really, really nice. Yeah. I mean, plenty of options when you go there. Oh, I mean, so many. On, in the resorts, maybe not as many, but City yeah. Walk. Loads of stuff. Disney Springs. Disney Springs, loads of And then and you're not far from like, International yeah, Drive. Say, and there's everywhere. so much stuff on International Drive. So, so you're not going to go hungry, that's yes. for sure. So we obviously can't tell you the most favourite restaurant out of Disney or Thingy or anywhere really because we didn't sample everywhere. No. But for us, we really enjoyed Cheesecake Factory. It's yeah. a huge menu. Um, but 200, there's 250 items, oh, I believe. God, there was so many. Think, yeah. um, and then there's just various options everywhere. There'll be somebody, something for everyone. Um, so next question, similar-ish to that, um, a favourite snack? Now I suppose it's probably different between Chris and I, I'm a very savoury person, and Chris, I'm very sweet. Chris is very sweet oh. oriented. I think my favourite snack was the jalapeno cheddar pretzel from Pretzel Palooza and Hollywood Studios, that was amazing. Yeah, it's Notable probably... mention to the pickle in Animal Kingdom. Yeah, it's over by Tower of Terror. Uh, rock and roller coaster. Rock and roller coaster. So, that yeah. neck of the woods. But yeah, yeah there's a little little, little kiosk and they do yeah, a jalapeno and cheese stuffed pretzel. It's very it, nice. is, it is very good. Um, I liked, Gide I say Sweet Tooth, so Gideon's. I mean, I think most people who head over to Disney probably are aware of Gideon's being yes. a thing. If you're not, they do amazing wedges of cake and massive cookies. I think just the moment you walk in the door and oh, that smell it's hits an you. It's, it's an experience because the shops Marvellously so themed, yeah. Um, um, voodoo donuts. Little, it's nice, yeah. yeah, it's only little nice, but again, so great cookies there. Voodoo donuts in City Walk. Donuts. Have a massive selection of donuts. Large and again, donuts. yeah, sweet tooth. Um, I was a fan of the jalapeno stuffed pretzel, like you said, mm -hmm. that was good. Um, lumpia in Animal Kingdom over yeah, Pongu Pongu in Pandora or near mm. Pandora, yeah, in which Pandora. is like a cream cheese and pineapple stuffed spring roll. Yeah. Thin creation. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Not one for everybody, I suppose, but um, yeah, quite nice. I like so that. I think I did mean I think that was. Oh, an honourable mention. This is kind of something we accidentally discovered. We went to Pizza uh, Safari. To Pizza Safari, yeah. And got some garlic knots. Yes, which, which came with a little marinara sauce. Yeah, which we, came with it. And for some, I don't know why we hung on to them out, but we went, oh, because I think we. Did we come out with it or not? Yeah, we maybe did. I don't know. I don't know. But, we but the marinara with, sauce is very, very nice, so we kept hold of it. For whatever reason, we yeah. kept hold of it. And then the next point of call was. was Eight Spoon Cafe. Yeah. Um, where we got some mac and cheese. Yes. Very so, good mac and cheese. But that mac and cheese with the Pizza Safari marinara sauce drizzled on top. Mwah. Very nice. Very, very good. They so, do the crazy pulled pork jam donut sandwich thing, don't they? There. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We'd have tried so that. It's very nice. So that, yeah, kind of a creation we discovered somehow. Yeah. But it was very good. So, I mean, we'll probably do it again. It's a match. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I suppose on that favorite drink. Now you're more into your drinks than I am. <laughs> you kind of like look like uh, we've done planning for before we went around the last holiday and this upcoming holiday and I focus very much on the food and you're like, oh, but look at that drink, no, look yeah, at that. Yeah, some interesting it. things. Yeah, um, but a beer, it's kind of something yeah. you can't get over here. Oh, I mean, something you got, well, you can if you go down to the Harry Potter studios. Well, yeah, but uh, um, it's just, it's something a bit different, a bit nice. Yeah, you, um, I mean, you, you have get, to try it when you're there, don't you? You can get what, your standard, your frozen and your hot. Yeah, and you ice get, cream. 
on ice cream, yeah, hook oh, yeah, of course. The only one we didn't try was the hot one. No. Um, but I think my favourite's probably the frozen butterbeer. I'd probably go with the standard. Okay, well, maybe. There you go. Um, <laughs> yes, but, oh, the, what's the uh, Alcatraz? The uh, the shark. Shark attack. Or whatever it's called. Yeah, that's, something like that, yeah. That was cool. That's and I got like a drink. ruby paloma, I think, from there. That was very nice. Um, but my favourite drinks, um, I sampled a lot of margaritas while we were there. Um, I think the one that came out on top, for me, Islands of Adventure, Backwater Bar, Jalapeno Pretzel. Pretzel? pretzel. Jalapeno Margarita! I've got food on the brain! <laughs> still got the Jalapeno Pretzel. <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine if they had the two of them together? That would oh, be magic. I mean, if you run really quickly, maybe. No. <laughs> And also honourable mention to Dockside Margaritas in Disney Springs. Um, I believe it was the Chipotle lime one. <laughs> um, that was very, very nice. Obviously, ash legs, spicy and margarita. I do. Yeah. Savoury-ish things. Um, but we had some really nice bits and bobs. The um, Night Blossom. Night Blossom the again, rum yeah. Blossom, yeah, that was quite nice. It was like a twister. Yeah. I suppose on high time, if I had to pick my favourite booth slash kiosk, mm. it might be the um, Bongo Bongo because you get the Lumpia, you get the Night Blossom, they also do French toast sticks, French yeah, I think, and I've heard the like September. little biscuit sausage things at breakfast time meant to yes. be really good which we never did, um, yeah. but yeah it's meant to be, it's a nice little booth, mm -hmm. just opposite Satouli. <laughs> mm. Okay, right, move on then to, um, oh, our last question from last round actually, would you go again? Yes. Well, yeah, we will be on an airplane in a week's we, we, time we as we're filming again. this. <laughs> we might be landing. Oh, oh no, no. The How long is the flight? No, we land at like 3 o'clock their time. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, no then. We won't yeah. be landing. <laughs> so, next thing, um, what are you most looking forward to? Hmm. It, I mean, well, oh yeah, none of it's, um, there's none of it I'm not looking forward to because we wouldn't go back again. Mm. But things we didn't get to experience last time. Yes. Newer things. Yes, I mean, is that, is, that a, is that a question or is that this question? Can we go into no, that? No, there is newer things. The, um, on the we menu. And we can discuss them now. It's not a thought. Um, the there is a question. question. Ah, okay. So there's a couple of new rides I'm <laughs> looking forward to trying. Yeah, um, I think just the whole atmosphere again, being in that little Disney bubble esque thing where it's just. Yeah, a lot of it's food for me. Yeah. I'm thinking. I'm I about think, about and the atmosphere as well. I think. Like, the yeah, like I think. Things that would annoy me over here don't annoy me as much. Food you didn't mention. What? Blaze Pizza. Oh yeah, Blaze Pizza. <laughs> Sorry, I know jumping back a bit, but... Well, I uh, know, because that wasn't really a restaurant, but it wasn't really a snack. Mm, well, so I think it's probably, maybe it is a restaurant. It's a yeah. quick service restaurant, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, looking forward, we're just looking forward to being there again. I would yeah, say. it's just a say, it's just an yeah. experience being there. And um, it's going to be interesting this time because we are staying... I was just going to say, and the next question actually leads into one okay. of the things I'm most looking forward to, we'll and it is the where are you staying? <laughs> um, we are staying at Art of Animation on Disney property in the Little Mermaid rooms. Ashley's very happy and excited I'm very excited. I'm going to sing in the shower every day. Yeah. God. Great. <laughs> yeah, yay. It is one of the things I'm most looking forward to is staying there at Disney, being proper at Disney. Immersed in it from yeah. start to finish. And obviously we're in the Little Mermaid rooms, my childhood favourite being the Little Mermaid and then just being around all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to feel like Ariel in the shower, there's going to be the giant statues outside. So oh, yeah, it should be good to be good. say obviously we didn't stay on the property at all last time. No, so we haven't stayed on property. So it should be a new experience. Yes. Yes, we'll be able to <coughs> pop back on, whether it's worth it or not, because obviously you do pay a little bit more. Yeah. Um, so we'll see if it's worth it or not. Yeah, I think so. I mean, the one we're staying at isn't one of the super expensive ones. It's kind of the mid-tier, I think. Yeah, we're... Lower yeah. end of the mid-tier. Yeah. Um, it's so not, yeah. We'll let you know. Not one of the fancier places. No. Um, are you going to Universal this time? Sure are. We better be. <laughs> yes, we yeah, are. Yeah, we are. We've got our tickets. Yeah, we've booked. got like a, um, at least three days planned at Universal. Yes, we tend to plan a day yeah. at each of the parks and then just an overflow day in case we want to go back and ride the So we will be again going again to again again. all yeah. of the parks, all of them. Um, we are even going to a water park this time. We're yes, doing, we didn't um, do that last Disney. time. No. So it's Typhoon Lagoon. Yes, we thought it was going to be Blizzard Beach. Yeah, but they've just, just closed that. Closed that. <laughs> so but now it's Typhoon Lagoon, Lagoon, so Lagoon it's Typhoon Lagoon this time. Um, okay, so um, next question. Um, what is new? since you last went. Um, I mean, for us, I think we'll be doing a lot of new stuff that isn't necessarily new, new, but there is new things there. Yeah, speaking <laughs> like going back to a few questions ago, yeah. Tron, 
which has just opened. Yes, at the Re beginning of this month. Yes, and Guardians of the Galaxy. So those are two. So those are two. I'm we, very, we should enjoy. Very much looking I forward so, to yeah. trying. Hear yeah. good things. Um, but as far as that, I mean, a flower and blossom. Flower and Garden oh, Festival. Sorry, Flower and Garden. Um, a lot of things, like I say, aren't necessarily new to Disney, but they are going to be new to us, yes. like Flower and Garden Festival. What was last, oh, we were in Christmas time last yeah, time. So. There's festival holidays. Um, Fantasmic's back. We've never seen Fantasmic no. at Hollywood Studios. We have a reservation on our very full first day at Disney um, for Hollywood and Vine, um, which is like a character buffet experience. So that should be fun. That'll be new for us, <laughs> doing a character dining. Um, and we've got tickets in with that dine-in package to go to Fantasmic and get guaranteed seats. Mm -hmm. So we will be watching that and that's new for us. Um, but it's not new. Well, to the place we're going with the tickets for the... Oh, the fireworks pre... Oh, we're going post, to the... Pre, um, post. Post dessert party over at Magic Kingdom. They're, obviously that's going to be new for us. Happy yep. Ever After is back. We saw... What was it called? Enchantment when we were there. Um, and obviously doing the whole desserts party means we're not going to be stuck amongst all the crowds and we get designated areas yeah. <laughs> so that should be good um there's a few more meet and greets back since we went and obviously last time we had to be at a distance in our masks this time i get to go see ariel yeah, so, ariel's yeah, back this time no covid no co yeah no covid so restrictions are, everything's gonna be a bit different because a little of that. bit crazy yeah um, um the gray stuff's back the gray stuff's back apparently yeah apparently, the 100 celebration this time instead of the 50th yeah, it was 50th so the gray yeah. stuff we couldn't get in Gaston's, Gaston's it could only be in the Beast, so we've not booked that. We have a few restaurants booked this time, mm -hmm. which we've not booked last time. Um, which obviously, if you stick around and watch the vlogs, we'll show you all about them. We've got obviously so Hollywood and Vine. We're going to Topolino's Terrace for breakfast. We've got Steakhouse Seventy One booked. Best burger, apparently. Apparently, so, apparently, so we're yeah, to we're going to, and then Universal as well and stuff. We're going to go to like Toothsome and things. Um, so there's going to be plenty of bits and bobs. Yeah. Um, and we'll be, we've got some uh, August reservations this time. So <laughs> hopefully, we don't have to dash out and <laughs> try and get out plane. Watched, if you watched the last <laughs> one, that's where it all started to go a bit pear. Well, I say pear shit. It ended up with us getting an extra couple of days uh, yeah. over in America. But yeah, when we were in August was when we got the phone call to say that we, we, we should be. <laughs> <laughs> the airport round about now <laughs> so yeah mind. um i suppose there was another question of what food are you most excited for um which we've probably covered a lot of food um again i really want another one of the pretzels yeah. i am excited actually to go to the steakhouse 71 because I and mean, you'll enjoy the burger and the and veggie options are meant to be amazing yeah, apparently really good french onion soup Yes, and I'm going to get the onion rings. They look amazing. Well, um, what's the place that's got the uh, garlic bread with the... Oh, Tony's, that's it. We're going to Tony's yes. in Magic Kingdom. They've got the like garlic bread sticks with the pour on cheese sauce. It looks amazing. So Anything with there. cheese and we're kind of in, we're <laughs> yeah. in the dry. Um, Obviously, we've got the Flower and Garden Festival, bits and bobs to try. I think that there's some nice sounding bits on there. Um, so I think we're going to be in our element. Obviously, we'll be vlogging it all, so you'll be able to see all that. Yeah. But yeah, I think just in general, very excited for all the food. Food. And final question, which is possibly the most popular question I got asked, can I come? I mean, if you, you, will, you, say, to if you sort out your own transportation, <laughs> accommodation and spending money, yeah. then please, the more the merrier. Yeah, <laughs> come on. If you're wanting us to pay for it, I'm afraid there's a list of friends, family members that you'd have to get jumped to the back Yeah, Joe jo asked me several times. Oh, okay, so fair I, it, And on my Instagram, in a little Q&A box. Yeah, well, so, sorry, friend, Joe B. My, my friend Rob wants to come and Sarah There's so many come. people want to come. Yeah. So, but if we're out there, say hi to us um, if you're there. Um, so that's everything, really. Okay, so that was all the questions we had from this round. Like I say, we will collect some questions as we're there. Drop us comments on our vlogs and I'll probably put some like little question boxes up on my Instagram and stuff. So just ask us anything and we'll do our best to answer it and answer it while we're there in the vlogs, if yeah. we can. Um, so yes, vlogs are coming very, very soon. As you watch this, we will probably be in America filming so make sure you subscribe 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 um <laughs> if you enjoyed this video do me a favor hit the like button huge thumbs up that would be amazing and like I said check out our vlogs from last time if you haven't already and we'll see you again soon probably yeah, yeah. from Disney yeah. it is exciting so take care guys and we'll see you again soon bye, bye.